Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If you missed my previous video today, I talked about the same price of uh, what to, is to be expected, which is 300 units, or in this case, you've got the early access bundle, which previews next week's, next Thursday's, you know, normal drop rates, normal uh, expectations for the five and six star new feature champions. Though, of course, if you're Cavalier and above for progression, you get the uh, five star guaranteed per early access bundle. So you can awaken the five star every couple weeks. Uh, and what I think is so fascinating is there are going to be people who wish that they had bought these, even though they're very uh, expensive compared to daily specials. You can get 20 days worth of daily specials for the price of one day worth of the limit of two uh, or $100 American for both the early access bundle featured champions. Of course, you also get six star shards with it, which is half a six star and 10 of the crystals and three great champion boosts, being the crystals. Pathetic drop rates, right? Like 0.3% is the customary drop rate for this. 0.3%. That is awful. That is truly winning the lottery. Even though we see people every week submit screenshots or even videos that captured landing on the featured six star. What's so fascinating is that it's 300 units next week and it will be the 0.3% or should be in the 1.5% for a five star. But when the crystal comes back, Kabam has continued to... Uh, give us better drop rates for the older champion, even though Scorpion still feels, you know, relatively new to the contest uh, versus other champions certainly in the past years. Uh, six star Scorpion, 0.91%, almost a 1% drop rate for the six star and almost a 4% drop rate for a five star. Again, one in 4% compared to uh, the drop rates of 0.3 and 1.5. So that is all to set up what I'm sure is already going to be in the thumbnail, but it's just breaking my brain. This broke me. This freaking broke me. Because imagine you've opened five crystals. Now with those 0.3% drop rates, you can open 300 crystals and not expect the six star. And I remember when uh, our, our friend of the channel slash enemy of many people, the crystal opening whale used to open hundreds of crystals and just get absolute nothing. Um... We have somebody named This who said, You know I shouldn't open these expecting the best to happen, so I did not record a video. And he only opened five. That's 1,500 units. He did not have any of the featured champion in the crystal. What I have uh, now preferred to call, thanks to a channel poll during a live stream, Benedict Spiderbatch. It is the Doctor Strange cape on Spider-Man. And uh, the vote for his name was Benedict Spider Badge. Doesn't roll off the tongue real well. I'm actually surprised I've been able to pronounce it as well as I have. So, didn't even have a three star. Because, of course, you can see it's new. He got in just five crystals. I've never seen this before. The three star, the four star, the five star, and yes, the six star. In five crystals. And a three star wasp, just to show you that it wasn't completely rigged. And this is such a crazy image that I'm sure somebody out there is going to say... It's photoshopped. It's not real. First off, I say this every time. If somebody is willing to put who knows how much time into a submission just to get like a three second shout out on a video on a YouTube channel that makes like, I don't know, let's let's generously say it's $3 on a video. Um, I feel like that person could use their time better. And I'll just take the risk that it's not photoshopped because most of the time it's not. Because not only do you have to photoshop the champions but you also have to photoshop the four new and the one duplicate and the five out of five like there's a lot of layers to this uh con shall we say that um just doesn't seem like it's worth the effort to me um but this is also why you record everything because you just never know and even if you don't watch my channel don't like my channel would never send me the data i don't care about that what i care about is that you have your jackpot in this game which you get a jackpot maybe if you're lucky about once a year uh, you have that saved forever. Maybe you just want to share with your alliance. Maybe you don't want to share with anybody but yourself. But you have it, and you can't go back, right? There, There's no replay function. Wouldn't it be cool if the crystals had, like, an instant replay function where up to, like, 10 seconds after you opened a crystal or popped a crystal, you could hit the instant replay button and see that moment again where the RNG was your best friend, where RNGs has saved you instead of RNG just betrayed you, which is the majority of the time in this game? 
that's one of my visions. I, I don't think it's realistic. And I think the, the coders should fix the game versus wasting time on that feature. It's just like in a perfect world, it would be there. I know that it's not like a, a really easy user-friendly thing to think about. I just, I, I hurt for people who say, dang it, I wish I could have recorded it. And there's no going back. So congrats again to Mr. This. You have a whole video dedicated to your breaking impossible my brain luck.